All right, dog owners are urged to ensure their beloved friends get their rabies vaccines. This is in order to prevent rabies transmissions to humans and the resulting in deaths, of course. Now, dogs are the primary source of human rabies in the Eastern Cape, KwaZulu-Natal and Limpopo. Let's take a look or talk further now with um, uh, the Boringer Ingelheim recommends that, of course, animals be fully vaccinated against rabies annually. And let's find out more uh, from Jay Sheila Keshav, head of, um, or head of the Animal Health Essay at the Boringer Ingelheim um, Institute. Thank you so much for joining me this morning, um, Ms. Keshav. Of course, you know, this is a very important um, thing that that owners, that pet owners need to do and make sure that their the pets are safe against rabies. Um, but let's talk about the importance of getting uh, their vaccines. Good morning, Gareth, and thank you for having me on the show. Um, and, and as you mentioned, you know, rabies is uh, it's a fatal infection and it affects humans and animals around the world. So rabies also kills thousands of people. We may not hear about it, but it does kill thousands of people. It's common in about 150 countries. And amazingly, in Asia and Africa, 40% um, of the victims are children, which is really sad. So the good news is that rabies is 100% preventable. Mm. So through mass vaccinations um, in dogs, because dogs are basically the primary carriers of the rabies uh, disease. So dogs account for 99% of all transmissions from, from to humans and also account for all um, human deaths. So rabies, 100% preventable through vaccination. And let's talk about the, this recent milestone where uh, I think it's over 19,000 dogs they were vaccinated against rabies in just four months. That is quite massive. So which, are you looking at doing more projects like these as well? Absolutely. And I must, I want to talk a little bit about the Eastern Cape project mm. that we actually did. And it's an amazing project. And it's, it's the Eastern Cape was, is quite a critical area when it comes to the number of um, rabies infections. So we, we basically understood the severity of the situation. And together with our animal health uh, teams, um, our sustainable development for generation teams, and in collaboration with some of our partners, we basically embarked on a journey to vaccinate 19,500 dogs. Amazingly, the team actually far outshone themselves. So in a period of four months, they managed to vaccinate 19,842 dogs in just four months. And you know, the amazing thing is this, I mean, this remarkable achievement actually demonstrates the true spirit of Boringer Ingelheim Sustainable Development for Generation mm. and the powerful impact it can have through collaboration to safeguard our communities, both our humans, animals and the environment, basically. Mm. I think it's also, you know, very important for, you know, vaccines or, you know, for organizations when they want to apply these vac vaccines to go door to door. Do we have a system like that in South Africa where they go door to door to people's homes and to ask if their pets are vaccinated and if not, have the option to do so? So we actually do do that, you know, and there are quite a few, uh, quite a number of stray animals in um, in South Africa. Mm. And you cannot just go and vaccinate a dog without obtaining the permission of the pet owner. Mm. So we do go from door yeah. to door, obtaining permission from the pet owner to have the dog uh, vaccinated. We also have surveillance programs that actually monitors the vaccinations and the vaccination rates of these dogs. And are there any challenges when it comes to doing something like that? Um, yes, there are challenges, I guess, and like any other project that you undertake um, in terms of um, volunteers, in terms of communities, in terms of making the pet owners understand why it's important to get um, their dogs vaccinated. Um, however, with, with our programs, through our Stop Rabies campaign, we educate, we empower, we educate individuals, we educate pet owners, we aim to combat uh, infectious diseases. And through all those type of initiatives um, that Buringa Ingolam actually has, I think we're making quite a breakthrough in terms of creating the awareness of rabies and the severity thereof. Let's also talk about, uh, you, you know, you, I, th I don't know if you mentioned it earlier, you know, the improvement in rabies surveillance. And I know there's also an app, it, I think it's called the Global Alliance for Rabies Controls Vaccination app that also contributes to this. Are we seeing improvements uh, when it comes to this? 
Most definitely. Um, we do partner with several bodies in terms of um, surveillance and tracking, in terms of the vaccination rates of dogs. However, the important thing is that dogs need to vac be vaccinated at least once a year. And in, in areas where there is a severity or a high incidence rates, we encourage pet owners to, be, to vaccinate their dogs regularly. So the surveillance program and partnership with them and working with them in collaboration with them certainly helps us in terms of tracking and making sure that we are making progress in terms of the number of dogs that we actually vaccinate. Mm. It is very important and technology does play a big a big deal here when it comes to you know things like surveillance and also uh, prevention and, and helping and making your jobs easier in a sense as well. Um, let's talk about those areas. Um, are there still very areas that are of a consider uh, or are of a concern rather to you? So there are three areas that, as you mentioned earlier in the interview, is that um, there are three areas where the incidence of um, rabies is very high, and that's KwaZulu Natal, that's Limpopo, and um, the Eastern Cape. Mm. So we have started this initiative in the Eastern Cape. It has worked extremely well. And bring the Ingalheim's um, Sustainable Development for Generations initiative is not just a, a once-off initiative. It's a framework that actually is there not just for now, not just for tomorrow, not just for the future, but for the next generations and the generations to come. So this is something that we will continue doing. In fact, if, if I may just mention, in terms of the World Organization for Animal Health, mm -hmm. they have a drive to, uh, we call it zero by 30, to have zero human rabies this by 2030. And we, we're certainly proud to collaborate uh, with the World Health Organization to make sure that the human rabies deaths by 2030 are absolutely zero. And how can we encourage owners to participate and, and get their, their pets vaccinated against rabies and, and make sure that, you know, we, we, we have these preventative measures in place and so that they can also come on board and make sure that we do have um, preventative measures, but also make sure that, you know, we don't have this escalation of rabies, you know, being transmitted from pets and possibly to humans. So we have, a, we, we, Buringa Ingelheim has a lot of initiatives. We try and help a lot of the communities, both in remote areas, rural areas, and in the urban areas. So we, we make sure that we educate, we empower, and we, most importantly, I think, educate the importance of having your dog vaccinated. Um, so in the rural communities, we have these volunteers, we have our animal health teams, we have our sustainable development for generations projects that actually goes out to create the awareness, meet the unmet needs, and most importantly, our objective is to combat the infectious diseases that is spread from dogs to humans. And I think very lastly, uh, Sheila, I just want to, you know, maybe, maybe there is something that, you know, other regions and countries can learn from that massive project uh, in Quebec, like you mentioned earlier. And what is that that they can take away from that project and, and make sure that they also, you know, adhere to something like this? I think the takeaway is that look after your pets, you know, make sure that they are vaccinated. Help us in this drive to eradicate um, human death by rabies. So make sure that your pets are vaccinated at least once a year. All right, That's thank you. the most important message that I can share. Fantastic. Thank you so much. Uh, that is uh, Sheila Keshav, Head of Animal Health SA at Beringer Ingelheim. Uh, of course, it is always great to chat to her and, of course, make sure that you get those vaccinations for your pets in order uh, to prevent rabies and also that transmission from um, animals to humans. Very important to make sure that that does not happen at all.